don't want to use 小姐 independently because 小姐 also means prostitute. Hello everyone, welcome back to 说说 Chinese, 说说中文, I'm Shuo, a native Chinese speaking teacher living in Bangkok, Thailand. Today I will tell you about 8 phrases that will make you sound less like a native speaker but more like a foreigner. I bet 99% of you guys used those phrases before because all of them are from your textbook. But why the textbook teaches us wrong things? Well, I think there are two main reasons. The first one is most of the textbook that you can find online or in the bookstore are way too old. They are first published 20 or 30 years ago. So some phrases are too old fashioned and young generation don't use anymore. The second reason is those textbooks are trying to make Chinese easier for English speakers to learn. They will have some direct translations from the English phrases, but Chinese people don't say. So it's not your fault to use those phrases. But from now on, after you have watched this video, be careful with those words if you want to sound more like a native speaker and you want to impress all your Chinese friends. Let's kick things off with the first phrase. 你好吗? Actually, I'm so tired of hearing people say it. But the good news is a lot of Chinese learners started to realize that Chinese people never say 你好吗? Actually, asking people how are them, it's a totally different concept in Chinese. For someone we almost meet every day like your co-workers or someone in the coffee shop, we just simply greet them with a short hello, hey, we don't say how are you, how is your day. And for someone we haven't seen for a while and we really care about how are they doing, we really want to hear their answers, not just a simple I'm good, I'm great. This phrase is what we are going to say. 你最近怎么样? 你 最近怎么样? 你, you, 最近, recently, 怎么样? How is, how about, how have you been recently, how are you recently? And people normally take this question seriously. Hey, 好久不见了,你最近怎么样? 还不错,最近不太忙,我都在家休息, 你呢? 在家休息好啊,我想休息还不行呢,最近工作太忙了,我知道你的那个公司以前我有听说过。So,你最近怎么样? It's a serious question. We're not just simply greeting each other and pass by. We really care about answers and this is kind of the way to start a conversation. That's why, back to many years ago, when I ran into my first friend from the state, he asked me, how are you? And this happened. Hi, sure, how are you? I'm fine. I'm uh, really busy with my paper. My paper is about NCST, NCST, NCST. Ah, uh huh, uh huh. Next one is 你好 and 再见. Compared to 你好吗, these two words sound less weird. We do say 你好 and 再见. But it only happens when we meet somebody who we don't know much about or just strangers. Between acquaintance and friends, we don't say 你好 or 再见. We can greet each other by saying hi, hello, eh, or some small thoughts. 去哪呀? 去吃饭啊? Ah, ha, ha, ha. And end the conversation by saying bye bye or ha 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 and fade out. Next word is 派对. I have heard of this word for so many times, all from non-native speakers. As native speakers, we never say 派对, no. I think it has something to do with different cultures between Chinese-speaking countries and English-speaking countries. Simply put, we don't party. I mean, I mean, we are not nerds, like studying all day and don't have fun. We do have fun, a lot. And we also hang out with a bunch of friends, sometimes at their houses. But it's really like the party that you guys know. You invite your friends and your friends invite their friends and the music, drinks, and knowing some new people. In China, it's more like a small get together. You only go with your close friends. In this case, we don't say party, we don't say 派对, 
we will say 我去我的朋友家玩 我去我的朋友家玩 I go to my friend's house and have fun Here, 玩 means to hang out or have fun It's not like a group of adults and playing like kids But what if you have a party like the Western style? In that case, we will directly say the English word party. But normally we will say this word with a little bit Chinese accent. Party. Party. Easier. Pa. Pa. And yes, we do have the Chinese characters for them. So you can say 我的生日趴我的生日趴体 or 明天有一个新年party Next phrase is 汉语 This word is literally on the front page of my textbook Yeah, let me explain to you There are two ways to say Chinese language I also mentioned it in this video 汉语 normally refers to Chinese as a second language So of course, if you're a Chinese learner, you can say 汉语 like 我在学汉语 I'm learning Chinese But between me and other Chinese people, we never say 汉语 Instead, we will say 中文 Ah, just a little heads up Except 中文 and 汉语 Other pairs like 英文, 英语, 西班牙文, 西班牙语 Have no big difference in daily usage you can use them either way without worrying about sounds less like a native speaker. Next word, 爱人. It means husband or wife. It doesn't mean boyfriend or girlfriend. The problem of this word is it sounds a little bit old-fashioned. Actually, it's too old-fashioned. My parents do say that, but younger generation don't say 爱人. Instead, we will say 老公 or 老婆. Or more formally, 先生, 太太. Next word, 马马虎虎. 你的中文很好啊? 啊, 我的中文马马虎虎. I understand you want to be modest and don't want to brag about your Chinese level. But Chinese people almost never say 马马虎虎. Of course, China is so big that People from different areas may have different expressions that they prefer to say. So maybe people from a few places do say ma ma hu hu. But from what I know, I never say ma ma hu hu and I have never heard any of my Chinese friends saying ma ma hu hu. Normally we will say this word to mean it's okay, mm, it's so so. Yi ban. Yi ban. Or more casually, 一般般 一般般 你的中文很好啊? 我的中文还很一般 快来快来快来 我跟这个男的match嘞 你看看他怎么样? 我看看 一般啦 Next word, 小姐 in your textbook, the translation is Miss. It's okay if you put a family name before 小姐, like Wang Xiaojie or Zhang Xiaojie, Li Xiaojie. But you don't want to use 小姐 independently because 小姐 also means prostitute. So if you don't want to say Chinese in a very improper way, try to avoid using 小姐 independently. 小姐,小姐,睡觉多少钱一碗? Huh? I just want to know how much for a bowl of dumplings. Alright, so these are all the content of today's video. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos like this. I will see you in my next video.